Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, this is Russ, rwgresearch.com. Uh, this video is kind of going to be just an informative video about uh, people, things, and stuff. Um, I would really appreciate it if you all would listen to what I have to say and watch this complete video in its entirety as I have some important uh, uh, things to discuss and I find it important that you uh, are informed of all the information that I have. So, um, there's been some inter interesting conversations about the, uh, or interesting stuff going on about the VIC coil, uh, the cores, and other people. Um, if you have not seen, um, Iron D Max, that's his YouTube username, um, has uh, got the uh, E or the C cores, the two C core halves for the standard uh, square bobbined VIC coil. Um, it looks like he's going with 2000 permeability. Um, and uh, just leaving a gap in there. If you haven't seen that video, you can go watch it. Um, and uh, personally, um, I've been talking with a guy by the name of uh, Dave, uh, Chris, and um, also Joe, Joseph. And uh, we've kind of decided that uh, um, over the past three months, we've been discussing a gap in the core. And there's some photographs of Stan's estate where you can see the gap of this core. And uh, we noticed that. Um, quite some time back, and you know, been discussing it. And we've decided that we do not, we do not want a, uh, a gap in there. Um, there's, there's reasons for that. And if you go over to the forums, the open-source-energy.org forums, um, you can see the discussion we have going on there. Um, but again, we do not believe there's a, a gap in there. Um, that we, as in the group of uh, individuals that I've been in collaboration with, um, we don't think there's a gap. And uh, we're probably going to try the permeability of 1,200 um, and see what happens. And I believe they're selling their course for around $100. Um, the ones that we'll be getting will be around $105 for um, the set. So price isn't really much of a difference there. Um, so we're going to be trying that out, and I'll inform you all. I'll give you full-blown data and information on what I find out with the 1,200 perm. Um, but other than that... I just wanted to um, also state that uh, Iron D Max, um, Slate Outlaw, and Pure Ritter have uh, kind of got this thing going, and um, and a lot of people are kind of wondering, um, you know, why Russ, why haven't you, you know, why aren't you working with them, or or what's the conflict, or, or what's going on there? And uh, personally, um, Pure Ritter in the past has actually um, donated towards my research, and he's been very supportive. Um, I have never had an issue with Pure. I really like him. Um, Slate Outlaw, I've never had an issue with. Haven't really talked to him a whole lot. Uh, me and Max have kind of get, been getting into some word conversations on the um, um, YouTube comment sections, if you guys haven't seen. But uh, all in all, um, you know, honestly, on the way home, I was just thinking. And um, I thought, you know, why is it that we're not working together? What's going on there? What's the problem? And um, I haven't really figured out what the issue is. But I decided about three, three weeks ago or so, I decided just not to worry about it. Just continue doing what I was doing and, uh, you know, making progress and seeing where it takes me. And I actually think that that's not a bad thing. I think it's a good thing that we're not working together. Um, and the reason is, is because they have a theory and they have what they're doing and they have what they're building. And they're going to, you know, if they get it going, I've always said this in the past, whoever gets it going, it doesn't matter, get it going. You know, and they, they, they're releasing stuff to the public, they're doing it in different ways than I am, but hey, that's fine. Um... So, um, you know, all in all, basically, I, I'm, I'm glad they're doing what they're doing. Um, and, uh, you know, there's reasons for things happening. And whatever the reason is that I'm not, you know, working together with them, so be it. Um, I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. Um, interestingly enough, I think it's a good thing. Because you have more than one person working on a system. We don't really know how the system works. So they have a theory. They're working on their theory. They're doing their thing. You know, all the people that I'm working with and um, the individuals who are putting some massive amount of time and effort and money into the research, um, you know, it's a good thing. I think that the way they're doing, the way that the way that's happening. Um, another individual is Tony Woodside. If you have not seen any of his work, uh, his website is globalcast.com. That's global k a s t dot com. Um, Max Peer and Slade's website is stanleymyerswebshop.com, so you can check check their website out. Um, and you know, I, I'm full blown open source. I do everything in the open, and um, I just I just do it differently than everyone else. And uh, Tony's pretty much open source from what I can tell. Um, and and um, the uh, 
Peer and uh, Slade and Max are open source. They're just doing it differently. Um, so basically, I just wanted to kind of throw the information out there. Um, I do it differently. What can I say? Um, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. I'll be honest with you. Sometimes it might be a bad thing that I go around posting videos all the time of everything that I'm doing. Um, because if something, if I'm building something and someone tries to replicate it, but yet I'm not done building it, so it may not work at the end. Um, that that's a bad thing sometimes for other people that are trying to replicate what I'm doing. Now, at the same time, it's um, not a bad thing because if for some some reason something would happen or I'd find something that would work or whatever, then everybody's got the amount of information they need that they can go back and they can look at the data and they can see what's going on. Um, basically, um, all in all, I've always said this in the past, um, I am not going to be able to do this by myself. I don't think anyone else is going to be able to do it by themselves, so that's why I find it important to full-blown open source everything, give everything away, and um, do it all the time, no matter what. Um, right, right or wrong, whether, whether what you're building is going to work or not, at least the information is out there, if for some reason it does. Um, if I spend the next 10 years working on um, Stanley Meyer's work and other people's work and just trying to replicate things and trying to get things to work to find this energy source that we're all looking for, um, if, if for some reason that um, I spend the next 10 years and nothing happens, um, you know, I can look back and go, well, at least I tried my best. Um, I did what I you know, had to do and at least I'm out there doing something and not just sitting back and waiting for somebody else to, you know, to take care of it because it's not going to happen. Uh, we're going to have to come together as a whole. Um, all the people are going to have to come together to get this, this type of technology in the world um, and hopefully we'll get to that point. Um, so again, I'm just trying to do the, the part that I can. That's what I'm about. That's who I am. Um, there's been a couple conflicts in the past over at the forums with people and uh, really just one incident and uh, it, it's an unfortunate incident but uh, it come down to uh, an individual um, threatening actually uh, the owners of the site and so unfortunately we had to ban that member I was very disappointed with that um, it, it actually very upset me that that happened and uh, you know me and the other guy that owns the forum and, and really everyone owns the forum it's everybody's forum um, it's not mine I don't own it um, neither does the guy that pays for the site you know, on a regularly basis. Um, but um, all in all, that was an unfortunate situation, and um, I, I wish we would have worked it out in a more civil manner. Um, a new form, a new website coming up, um, you really don't know how things are going to go, and it was unfortunate the way that happened. Um, a lot of you know who exactly what I'm talking about, and the information's over at the forums. If you're really going to really want to go look at the incident and what happened, it's over there, um, somewhere over on the forums. It's, it's in the public domain to look at. Huh. So, um, I just wanted to inform you what's going on, what the heck's going on. Um, I don't care who gets the technology out there, as long as, as, long as somebody's doing it. Um, you know, me and the individuals over at the forum are full-blown open sourcing everything so that anybody can come behind us and replicate it and you don't need to buy a circuit board or something like this. You can, you can build it yourself if you have the ability to do so. Eventually we'll get to a point where we'll probably make things and sell them, um, but it will be just for full-blown um, open source research type of work. And um, I, I feel that, um, that Max and, and those individuals are doing the same thing because their stuff's reasonably priced. So. Um, I just feel that um, it doesn't matter where the sources come from. If you can get the information out there, that's what matters most. So in my opinion, you know, if I, if I purchase some cores and I'm not going to tell you what they're made out of or I'm, I'm not going to tell you where I got them, but you can get them from me if you'd like, you know, I, I don't care about that situation. I'd rather say, hey, here's the manufacturer. You know, if you want to go to them and get it, so be it. You can do that. And that's, that's the way I feel and that's gotten me in trouble with other people in the past and how they're doing things. That's really what I wanted to say, and uh, this video is not intended to make anyone upset. This video is not meant to make any arguments. Um, I hope everyone takes this video as a legitimate, hey, this is Russ talking to the world type of video. It's what I do every time I make a video. Um, so I really hope to not get any hate mail or anything like that. I'm, uh, I'm supportive of everyone, even though sometimes it may not seem it. You know, life is interesting. Um, it's been in interesting. This whole... This whole uh, thing that's been interesting, Max uh, and Tony have been doing this research in Stanley Meyer for way before I have. Um, and you know, I, I come out of nowhere and produce a video and somehow it gets a bunch of hits and I, I um, you know, become a part of this thing that's going on, this research with Stan Meyer. So, 
Um, and that's basically what happened. And uh, hey, here I am trying to do my part. I'm a legitimate person trying to do what I can to, to help this world and help the people around it. Huh. So anyway, that's me talking to the camera. I've got about five minutes left. I want to show you some VIC stuff. Um, the first thing I want to say is this individual right here, he goes by the name of Dino Don. All right. Excuse me. Um, that individual is the only reason that we have the data and the amount of pictures and the amount of information that we have is that individual right there. His name is Don Gable. And I personally want to say thank you, Don, um, for at least uh, releasing the information that you have. And I'm 99% sure that you don't have anything more. You've given it all away. Um, I know you, um, you know, I'll tell you the story really quickly. Um, <clears throat> basically, I got in contact with Don to ask him about the EPG. I heard he had pictures. Um, and um, an individual got me in contact with Don. I was talking to him about the EPG. And uh, later on, when he decided to sell the pictures, there was 10 individuals um, who he needed that wanted to sell. He, he wanted to sell the pictures to 10 individuals. Those 10 individuals, whoever they were, got the pictures. There was no disclosure agreement for the pictures or anything. So they were freely to do what you wish. Um, I did hang on them to, to them for a little while, which I actually regret doing. I wish I would just gave them away right away, but for whatever reason, I hung on to them. Um, I gave away the EPG pictures right away, and I hung on to the, ex the other ones for a little while. Um, that's one of those things in life where you, you do something and you kind of regret doing it. But hey, pictures are all out there. I don't have anything else in my possession that, that is not shared on my website or in my videos or anything like that. Everything is given away. I feel it important. I don't feel that it um, is someone else's... Um, how do you say it? I, I don't feel that it's right that someone else has another individual's things in their possession. Pictures, for instance, of Stan Meyer's estate. Um, I don't feel that, that it's right for them to sell those pictures because I feel that Stan wanted this information to be out there in the public. And he, and he wanted to do that. He did this in such a way so that we have all the patent information and we have all the information there that we need. And I feel that it was very important that Stan did it the way he did it so that we have the information we need. So I didn't feel it was right that these pictures were being sold by other people. Not, not that Don sold them, but that other people were trying to sell them way after. This was like probably six months after they were sold by Don. Some other individual was trying to sell them. I hope it didn't make that individual upset, but I didn't find it right that they were selling it. So anyway, I've given them all away for free. Um, I felt that it was important to do that, and uh, it took me a little bit longer than it should have, but I did. It's all that matters. Um, so back to the VIC. Dino Don, Don Gable, thank you. You're the only reason that, that any of us, including Iron Max, Tony Woodside, anybody that's working on this stuff, you're the only reason right now at this point in time that we even have dimensions and measurements for these coils. So you're the individual that I want to thank the most. Um, without you, We'd all be the same place we have been for the last 12 years, which would just be lost. Patents are it. But at least we have references, more references. Um, Don did draw the dimensions up of this VIC. These are found over at the forums or over at ionizationx.com. That's another forums that Don is actually a part of. He's been over there for quite some time. Here's the two bobbin sets. So as you know, this particular bobbin set is designed for the tube sale tube cell tube resonant cavity. This particular bobbin set is actually, Stan designed this for the um, injector, the water fuel injector. Um, okay, these fit together like this. There's some very interesting things with this. You're supposed to use stainless steel FR316 wire and he did that for a high resistance. He wanted a high resistance. Um, he knew how to calculate this stuff. He knew how to build it, and, and he did it. And the reason he uses such interesting things like stainless steel wires because he needed a certain resistance, and he needed to match the resonant cavity, and he needed everything to match, and the impedance matching has to be right, and the inductance coupling has to be right, and the capacitance coupling has to be right, and everything has to be right. And Stan knew how to sit down and figure that out. So that's how that's why he designed this the way he designed this. Alright, I'm out of time. I'm gonna have to find some time to cut out in this video, but rwgresearch.com, please check that out and please also um, just go over to the forums and uh, give your thoughts because that's what's most important. God bless, take care. This is Russ. Have a good day.
Thanks for listening.